So today we're fishing for tarpon. We're just going to be fishing in these little tiny little pockets of water in these mangroves. It's just these mangroves right here. It just goes for miles and miles back. It's just this still water back here. But we have actually found out that it holds pretty decent tarpon. Nothing huge, nothing crazy, but I mean, I, I love tarpon. I just started catching them. I, it was maybe like a month ago I caught my first one. And they're just a lot of fun. And like I said, here, look, I'll show you. You just catch them in these, honestly, what I would call crappy looking little pockets of water. But they, they love this stuff. And we're just using this, this eight weight, which I always use. <laughs> and we're just using these tiny little minnow imitation flies right here. We'll probably, if we don't get a bite on this, we might throw on a bigger uh, tarpon toad. I have a black and purple tarpon toad that I've caught one tarpon on. Not crazy, but yeah, we're just going to toss that around for a little bit. Hopefully catch some stuff. I think it's about 88 degrees out here right now. I think it's around 1 o'clock, 12 o'clock. I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, it's pretty hot, but there's a little bit of cloud, cloud, covering, cloud coverage in the sky. But hopefully we catch something, I'll switch to the GoPro here pretty soon and hopefully land something. So we are at the first spot. I've already seen one or two tarpon blow up a little bit, so that's nice. And I got a nice little bird's nest right here, that's always fun. That's how you want to start your day off. First cast, everything. <laughs> Good God. <laughs> but yeah, like I was saying, I just saw one... One little tarpon blow up. So that's good stuff. Hopefully we can catch one. They are so fun to catch, I swear. Especially on this lighter, well, lighter eight weight. It's it's more of a fight. I know a lot of people throw like a nine or ten weight for these guys, but you throw it in this lighter gear. It's still a lot of fun. Let's try and get further back there. There we go, that's a good cast right there. And like I said, I'm just using a tiny, tiny little minnow imitation. Nothing crazy. If you look in the water, you'll see a bunch of minnows. So, I mean, basically just matching the hatches best as possible. I do wish this little minnow was a little darker in color. But, work with what you got. I just wish it was darker in color because then it obviously would contrast better in the water and stand out a little better. But it is no biggie. I definitely know that we can still catch one on this. I'm going to try and make this cast, which this plant will get off my... Oh, and I get caught in a mangrove. That's fun. Oh, yep, that's fun. <laughs> I know it probably doesn't pick up on the camera, but I keep hearing little blow-ups to the left of us. 
and then behind us is like the main water and you'll hear the waves hitting the bank and whatnot so don't don't think that's a fish Let's try and make this cast. Okay, that's a good cast right there. Maybe there's something down there. See, a little blow up right there. That is the worst sounding bird I've ever heard. Okay, I think we might make like one more cast and I think we're gonna move down. <sighs> so I keep hearing stuff down there and I mean I know it's impossible to know what species of fish it is but kinda confident that it might be tarpon so we're gonna reel this in real quick. Oh, oh come on that up and we're just gonna move right down there's another little pocket down there we're just gonna fish that and see if there's any different results down there So as you can see I just got blown up on by a good maybe five six pound tarpon it's pretty big for the area that we're fishing in at this moment. So I missed the fish twice, obviously right there. He didn't eat the hook. So what I did next is just pretty much as quickly as possible cast the fly right back in there. See if he's still in that area. See if he still wants to eat. Unfortunately, he never did come back. But you never know what else is in that little area. So we keep casting around here for a few minutes. And then we start trying to cast on the sides and up closer to the mangroves on the other side of the water right there just to see if he's gone up under the mangroves or if he's gone to the right or the left just to see if he's in a different spot than where he blew up on the fly two times right there. And as you can see right there, the fly line doesn't really want to work with us for a good second. <laughs> and then I just start making some really quick casts in there. Again, just seeing if there's any fish in there, any smaller tarpon or anything like that. Kind of changing up angles here a little bit, trying to get a better angle to cast in there to the left back there. It's 
a little bit of a hidden spot back there. You can't really get a good cast back there. But I get one or two good casts back there. And then we just keep casting around in this spot just because we did get blown up on by that nicer fish just to see if he's still there and then here we are going to actually be moving to the other spot that's like two steps away from where we just got that big blow up from Let's see if we can catch anything here this spot's a little bit trickier to fish just because obviously there's not as much room as the first spot and there's a little bit more mangrove coverage right in front of you which is a little tricky we're just going to see if we hook up to anything here. And with this muddy water, you can always just kind of play around with your retrieves. This day, they were actually biting on a lot faster retrieve, which was obviously a lot of fun. Some days, they'll literally just bite if you just throw the fly out there, let it sink, and you just slowly, slowly, slowly strip it, basically just dragging it along the bottom, and they'll just pretty much just slurp it up, you'll pull up, and you got a tarpon on. <laughs> and here we're just casting a little bit more, trying to again get as close to the other side as possible just so we're working with as much room as possible. Just trying to find that right angle to get the best cast you can get. And again, this spot's a little tricky just because there is so much mangrove cover right in front of you that even if you did land a fish or if you did hook up into a fish, it's a little tricky to get that fish up, up and land it on on the bank but it's still possible and eventually here you will see what we actually hook into so here we hook into a nice little maybe three two pound uh, tarpon unfortunately he did jump off which they're notorious for doing that's why everybody loves catching them <laughs> and they are a blast they are one of the most most fun fish to catch. We are just again, we're just gonna quickly cast back in there. We know that there's an active tarpon in there swimming around, obviously feeding. So you just want to get that fly in the water as fast as possible, as many times as possible, just to increase your chances of hooking into a tarpon. <laughs> and here we're again, we're just using that fast stripping motion. We know that that's working for these fish. They're obviously blowing up on it actively. And here we hook into that little guy again. <laughs> You'll see him jump around a few times, which they are notorious for. And with this guy, since he is a little smaller, you can just reel in all that line. You don't need all that slack line. He's not a 50 pound tarpon or anything. Most likely he's not going to break you off. And then here I'm just kind of going over how I'm going to land this fish. He's a little, he's a smaller tarpon than normal, so you can kind of play him faster. It doesn't really matter if he's that green, he's so small that you'll just be able to get him in and get him right back out into the water with pretty much no harm. <laughs> and there you go, you see the silver body swimming by. <laughs> and they are so much fun to cast, catch. And here we go, basically boat flipping like you would a bass. And there you go, you have a nice little tarpon on the line. They are just so fun. And here we actually perfectly hook this tarpon right in the center upper lip which he was probably never going to get off that hook which is awesome for a tarpon and yeah that's that's pretty much it I mean they're just a fun fish to catch and yeah and that hook just pops right out just like that and since he's not big we're not going to take a picture he's not anything crazy he's a little bloody that's just from the hook nothing catastrophic or anything he'll survive and Hopefully one day when I go back to that same spot, he'll be a 50-pound tarpon, and 
It'll be a little better of a fight. <laughs> Here we go. Give him a big old kiss. <laughs> and then we send him on his way and hopefully he goes and becomes a world record one day. There he goes. <laughs> so that is actually going to be it for today's video. We, I, In my opinion, we had a lot of success. I think there was three blow-ups. We technically hooked two, missed one big one. But yeah, overall, I'd say it was a pretty good day. I love fishing for these fish. I mean, tarpon, they're just one of my favorite all-time fish to catch. I mean, I like I said, I just started catching them last month. So it's a ton of fun. I love it. I'll keep doing it. Maybe the next video will be a tarpon fishing video too. We might have to go try and find a different spot, explore a little bit more. But yeah, other than that, pretty fun. I know I wear this in a lot in the videos. It's kind of old, raggedy, might be a little dirty. <laughs> Just wanted to say that this is actually a free fly apparel, uh, long sleeve bamboo hoodie. It's really nice. It has a little hood, a little pocket, everything. If you are looking for anything that will last a long time and just be nice and just stay like it is brand new, I definitely recommend buying one of these. It's kind of gross, but I wear it maybe like, I'd probably say a little bit more than you probably should. Probably skip a little laundry days, but hey, no big deal. <laughs> but other than that, I hope you guys liked the video. Comment, subscribe. See you guys on the next one.